What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing another Rad Movie Review today. And today we're going to be talking about The Forever Purge, the most recent film in the Purge franchise. It's finally out. Let's find out if it's a good film. This is going to be a non-spoiler review. Roll it! So The Forever Purge is the most recent film in the Purge franchise, supposedly the last one. It's actually the fifth installment. So let's talk about some of the positives of this film. One of the positives is definitely the action and like the set pieces and all that kind of stuff is really entertaining and like the shootouts and all that kind of stuff like the action is really on point and like it keeps you enthralled with the film all the different scenery and sections where the fight scenes go on i really do like the locales and all that kind of stuff add to that we also got some really good solid actors too like they're not like big known actors but josh lucas is probably like the most popular one in this film but there's other kind of actors that you guys might know their faces and and they all do like a really good job of just playing these realistic people that are in this era of like oh the purge is still continuing even after the sirens go off like these people just continue the purge there's this other group and they just want to purge forever you know so like that's the kind of thing it's really got like i said some good solid actors that are make make it believable the characters that they are also, I do really like the concept of this film. Like, I am a big fan of the Purge films, and being that, like, oh, the Purge finally goes off, and then, like, there's a group of people that continuously, like, just want to continue purging, like, it is a really interesting concept to me. And then, like, you know, America's basically, like, just a hot zone of, like, people purging, so Canada and Mexico open up their borders to Americans so people could flee over there for, like, the next six hours. So, like I said, it's got a really, like, fast-paced, good storyline, like, or easy storyline to get attached to you know it's not the greatest but it's easy to get attached to and that's why i really liked it you know and it was something different from the previous films so let's get down to talking about some of the negatives of this movie <laughs> And right off the bat, one of the key negatives for me is it's definitely the least from gory. Like, the, there's a lot of action in this one. It's very fast-paced, but the gore aspect is completely missing in this one. It kind of feels like it's almost edited on purpose, like they wanted to toe that line between being a PG-13 film and a rated R film. So compared to a lot of the other Purge movies, this one definitely has the least amount of gore aspect, a lot of cutaway scenes, so that was kind of bothersome. Also, this one, it's like all the Purge movies are very political, heavy storylines, and you have to kind of be, especially with the kind of universe they designed for these films, but this one has a lot of kind of just racial tones and racial racial stuff going on that it's very heavy handed like and it kind of seems like they tried to tackle a little too many things like and say too many comments on some things like I do like the approach and what they were thinking of doing but I just think the execution wasn't really there and it didn't really say as much as they wanted it to say and also there were some scenes for me that were just a little bit confusing I kind of lost track of where certain characters are and like certain characters and we ended up in a new area and I didn't really realize how we got there so I don't know if that was in case a case of editing or just like the writing like you know jumping from place to place and they really had holes or plot holes in the film but it just like it just seemed that way for me so I don't know if I just I looked away too long from the screen or something happened but I did lose track of a few people sometimes in certain areas but overall I think this is still like a decent film it's definitely not the worst purge film I would probably put this one at number four out of the five i think the first purge is still the weakest so this one tracks in at that number four spot so it's still an average like purge movie it's just the other ones do so much better in having much better stuff to say and the execution of what they want to say and they also have a lot of that gore aspect that you know lends to like being you know a horror film and you really want that even though the purge films kind of drifted more towards action but overall in my book this film is going to get a 5.5 out of 10 so, you know it's just a little bit above average definitely I wouldn't say I wouldn't say like you know run out and spend your money on this in the theaters you know what I mean it's not like that kind of film like you have to have to see it you know if you're a hardcore purge fan I can understand you want to check this out but I would wait for this one just to be like you know rent or on demand kind of thing for you to check it out so thanks for hanging out with me all for another rad movie review if you've seen the film hit me up in the comment section let me know what you thought of the film did you like it did you hate it 
all those kind of things and hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content that I put out. It definitely helps out the channel. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.